Hi guys, Team Bizarre here, and more than just a pen. Today's video, we are going to be testing out these Stedler ballpoint pens. Yes, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, wait, they're fine liners. No, they're no, 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 no. They are ballpoint pens. I was acting the same thing. Like when I opened the box, I was like, okay, they sent me fine liners. Yeah, you know. And then I looked and I looked and I looked and I looked and it said ball. I was like, wait, 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 hold up. Wait a minute, let me put some luda in it. I was like, no, this, this can't be ballpoint pens. They're supposed to be fine liners, because fine liners, you know? Um, try, I tried out the black one, I was like, yo, they're ballpoint pens. They're ballpoint pens. So, I'm going to test them out today. I'm going to be drawing an anime, and I'm going to be talking to you guys about how drawing an anime character has made me a better freehand drawer. So, let's go get into this. Gonna be fun. Let's go. So, how have I become a better freehand drawer by doing anime Musa? How? How'd you do it? Well, what anime requires you to do is to break down the image completely. Like, it makes you break it down from, it's not an eye anymore, it's a pupil, then you have another shape to make the eye, then you have the eyebrows, and it's, this is the kind of thing that once you master it and then try and take it over into the realistic factor, you understand the benefits that this has had to your drawing career. I've realized that now, that's why I, till this day, I still practice drawing cartoons and anime. And I've said it in my previous video, not my previous video, but one of my old videos, um, the Mario one, where I talked about the benefits of drawing cartoons. Drawing animes is probably a bit more advanced simply because it has so many human features, you know? eyes lining up with the nose um, and then what's going the mouth and the ears and stuff like that it might be a little bit more dramatic but it's the basics you know the basics of understanding what it is you're drawing like with like animes and stuff you know that the ears are especially let's talk about Dragon Ball Z you know Dragon Ball Z draw a character the ears are slightly underneath the eye level you know so where the creases are underneath the eye that's where the ears line up little things like that you have to use the image to your advantage which is another thing a lot of people look at the image as a whole you know and that's the wrong way to go about because then you'd be overwhelmed and you'd be like wow this is too much i can't draw this it's too challenging for me you know but where you break it down which anime requires you to do all the time break it down small components work piece by piece by piece and build it up Next thing you know, you have a complete drawing um, and you've done it by making shapes, you know, little shapes and little things to line things up. And that's exactly what I did with this drawing. I did live stream this on Twitch, uh, which I will link in the description so you guys can see my live streams on there, um, which was people kind of liked, they enjoyed it because obviously they were asking me questions and I answered it on there. But breaking down your drawing, drawing it in stages and building it up has made me a, like it's made me a great freehand artist um I, that's why a lot of people to this day like how do you do this how do you just draw without making mistakes it's because i've learned i've tried i've done a lot of trial and error a lot of trial and error um over the years but i wasn't afraid to fail i wasn't afraid to say okay you know what i messed up this drawing my life's over no i was like okay i messed up this drawing i know not to do that next time but okay i did this and this helped me you know, make make everything accurate and look right. So I need to remember this. So it's like you have to put in the time. Um, obviously, trial and error. You're gonna make mistakes, but you have to embrace the fact that you make. You're using a tool that you can't erase. You're using a ballpoint pen. Come on, like you're using a ballpoint. If you're not making mistakes, like all my drawings that I do, I make mistakes. But it's just over the years I've learned how to cover up certain mistakes but I still get it fairly accurate because of the little techniques that I've picked up by drawing anime you know what I mean having to say okay I don't need to go this wide because this lines up with this or that lines up with that it's about it's the whole Lego technique that I explain to you guys all the time piece by piece take your time don't rush you know what I mean and use your image use it like, if you look at it and you say, okay, I know that the ears have to be lower than the eyes, you know, so that means I can't, I have to, let me draw the eyes first, so that way I know where the ears have to go, instead of saying, okay, let me draw ears first, but no, the ears are a bit too small, you know, so starting point is quite important as well, that's why I kind of take around 10, 15 minutes looking at the image before I even start. Um, I normally like to start around the middle or start with one of the eyes. 
that's where I normally like to start because that way I feel like it's a good starting point because then I can start lining up things and getting things where I want them to go in order to get that nice accuracy that I'm looking for. But like I say, guys, you need to be drawing things like this anime. Don't look at it and oh, it's too easy. I need to be drawing realistic portraits, you know. Yes, you will be drawing realistic portraits soon, but if you can't draw the fundamentals, like the basics, you can't do it right. How do you expect to draw a realistic portrait? It doesn't make sense to me. That's like trying to buy a expensive car without a driver's license. Okay, you can afford the car, but you ain't got the driver's license, so that's a waste. You know what I mean? So take your time, learn the fundamentals, the basics, um, embrace that. Take it. Uh, I was gonna take time, practice, look at videos, um, follow some of my tutorial videos. I have a playlist. I also have a playlist on do's and don'ts as well, which should help you guys. Um, and yeah, soon we'll be having that book come in look through, which will be legit, the black and white one. And after that, I'm gonna make a color one. Um, but yeah, fundamentals, learn the basics, learn how to line up things, uh, make your mistakes now. You know what I mean? Learn from your mistakes as well. That's a key. There's a lot of people that make mistakes, but they don't learn from it. You need to learn from your mistakes. Understand, try and analyze your drawing, be realistic with yourself. Say, okay, why did I make that mistake? You know what I mean? And how can I avoid it? Um, you have to be honest with yourself. Don't. Don't lie to yourself and say, nah, you know what, it's okay, it still looks good, I could do better, no. Say, okay, it's bad, I messed up here, I embraced it, I understand, but I won't make that mistake again next time because I know what I did wrong there, you know what I mean? Well, sometimes I do this as well, sometimes I'm just drawing, I'm like, okay, I know how it looks, I'm just gonna keep going, keep going, and I look up and I'm like, uh, yeah, it doesn't look like that. So looking back and forth at your reference photo is very important. Um, you need to be doing that when you're doing realistic drawings. And if you're not looking at reference photo when you're drawing these like animes and stuff, if you don't learn to look at your reference photo literally every three seconds, you need to be looking at your reference photo. Um, but yeah, that's it. I just wanted to do a little quick voiceover, talk to you guys about the importance and how this has helped me become a better freehand artist. And I hope you guys have got something from this. Catch you in the next one. Bye now. So that's my video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you would like to see the full length video of this drawing, you can now head over to my Patreon account. Link is in the description and I'll put, and put a banner up here for you guys to click and go check it out. The pens are also going to be linked in the description for you guys to purchase. I don't know if they're out yet. It's a good thing. I didn't actually check on Amazon, but if they are, they'll be linked in the description. If they're not, then it won't be linked in the description. Anyways, don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe to Demus Art. That's me. Out, out, catch you in the next video. And if you want to be watching my live streams, go check out my Twitch. I've been banging out the live streams on there for the last couple of days and starting to get some people in there talking to them. You know, it's fun. Anyways, see you in the next video. Peace.